So in this video, um, we'll look at a couple of examples of how to compute the limit. And um, the question I would like to ask is the following. I want to take the limit for x goes to 2. For the current function, I put it up there, which is this. So um, please recall from the last video, we understand that uh, this notation essentially means when x is approaching 2, what value does the function approach? So keep the perspective in your mind. And um, there are so many, there are two basically different ways to approach two. We can approach two from the lower values of x. For example, I can actually choose something smaller than two to start with. And every time you move it up a little bit uh, to make it look like um, the x is actually approaching two, right? I mean, after 1.9, I can choose 1.99 as the second point and I can choose 1.999 for the next point. And now, and um, let's do the calculation now. Uh, for this case, f of 1.9 would be the same as 1.9 squared minus four divided by 1.9 minus two. And um, this answer is actually 3.9. So uh, let's look at the next one. So for this next one, when we do the calculation, uh, it's going to be uh, 3.99. And for the next one, you can use calculator to finish this off. And this one is 3.99. And similarly, um, we have to approach two from the, the other and confirm that um, the value is the same uh, for two parts uh, of approaching two from two different directions. So you can choose uh, some values bigger than two to start with. You can choose 2.1, the next value is 2.01, the next value is 2.001. And uh, similarly, you can compute the values of f depends on the value you choose. You, for example, you can do f of 2.1, which is 2.1 square minus 2 square, uh, which is 4, excuse me about that. So uh, minus 4 divided by um, 2.1 minus 2, and the answer um, is going to be 4.1. And uh, similarly, you can finish off this, uh, this simple exercise by, by using calculator. So the last value you have is going to be 4.001. So uh, please look at the two ways you approach two, from two different directions. You see, as you can see, this value is actually the same. Um, both are both approaches for actually. And um, because of both values are the same, we probably can claim that. So uh, when we take the limit x goes to two uh, for this particular problem, uh, the answer is actually four based on approximation, based on approximation. But um, because of the uh, strange thing about this example, I would like to um, make some remarks about that remark. Uh, if you approach, so this is the first remark. If you approach two from two and two different directions, uh, by two different directions, I'm talking about the fact that you can approach two by using values less than two. Like you can choose 1.9 to start with and gradually approaching two for the value of x, or you can approach two from the upper end by choosing bigger values of two to start with. So basically there are two ways to approach the point two for x and the function of f that you calculate for these values like these problems they have to be the same they have to be the same so um for for the limit to assist because uh, logically let's think about this problem um, if both sides both sides you are not getting the same answer um then the answer is not well defined right i mean for any mathematical problems we usually do uh, we want only exactly one answer. So uh, it does not make sense. We actually have two different numerical value as the final answer to this problem, right? So uh, let's go back to this remark one. It essentially means then uh, to have a definite answer to the limit problem. Um, the value f of x uh, approaches from two different directions, from two different directions. Must be the same, must be the same. If they are not the same, um, then um, we say the limit is undefined. 
So um, let me put up a note here. Let me put up a note here. So um, if if they are not the same, then the limit when x goes to two for the function f of x is undefined. So uh, that's the first note I can make about that. The second note is about uh, the precise way for you to understand the concept of limit, uh, the way to compute the limit. You see, um, actually the fact is like this, uh, for quite many functions, for quite many functions. Um, I'd like to get more precise about that, but for an absolute beginner in the topic of limit, if it is first time you see the topic of limit, um, this is a very imprecise term, but uh, for, by quite many, talking about the usual functions you are quite uh, familiar with, for example, like sine x, cosine x, maybe polynomials, all of these basically. The simplest one, the simplest one, um, to find this one, we can just compute f of a. So I hope you you really get my point here. You see, uh, if X is approaching a point A in this remark too, basically I'm claiming that uh, to know the answer of this limit problem, you just have to compute F of A directly. Basically you replace A to the function F of X to get the answer uh, to this problem of limit. So, uh, but it really depends on the function F you see. And um, it's really not a clear cut uh, well-defined uh, problem. I mean, I'm not using a precise term for the remark two, but for the remark three, um, let's put it this way. Uh, for the problem at the top of this page, I was looking at this. If you use remark two by two, basically I replace x equals two to the function and you can see what's happening now. Uh, this fraction now basically becomes zero over zero. Um, and Please keep this concept in your mind. Uh, it is so important in the topic of limits and, uh, and in calculus in general. The fact is like this. The fact is that when you have uh, zero divided by non-zero, uh, please use calculator now and uh, simply pull out your calculator and do calculation zero divided by two, zero divided by three, etc. Uh, it's gonna be zero. But this one is different, right? I mean, this one is actually zero divided by zero. Uh, this one uh, is undefined. I mean, this one, this item is actually called undetermined. And undetermined means what? Undetermined uh, does not mean you cannot get the answer. Undetermined essentially means you can get the answer by other methods. You just don't know the answer now. So uh, you need other methods to get the answer. Um, undetermined essentially means you don't know the value, the value can be zero, it can be one, it can be 1.5, it can be 100, it can be undefined really, it can be, but um, there are also many other possibilities. You only know this answer uh, by using a proper and appropriate method to this problem. And uh, for now, for this uh, video, uh, the problem we present is uh, this one and we did it by approximation and it looks like the answer to this as I said earlier, it's really the same as uh, four, right? But uh, to be honest, limit problem, there are actually so many ways to work with that. Um, too many ways, basically. So uh, we'll gradually see more methods. So uh, let me stop this video now.